our you know you know that our demos are authentic. Um, yeah. <laughs> so I was not expecting that, and I and then I, I think I muttered under my breath. But so, like we practiced this, you know, behind the scenes. Yeah. Um, like, we're like at Tesla, we we don't do we don't do like tons of practice for for our demos. Elon Musk unveiled Tesla's Cybertruck in 2019, and it looked like something straight out of Iron Man's laboratory. Stainless steel, sharp angles a design that defied convention. It was electric in more ways than one. But now, with the first trucks rolling off the production line, whispers of trouble are starting to emerge. So is the Cybertruck the future of electric trucks, or is this futuristic design hiding some flaws? Let's jump in and find out. We haven't heard much from Elon Musk himself about these concerns. Knowing his personality, he's likely focused on solutions and pushing Tesla's engineers to overcome these challenges. After all, the Cybertruck is a major innovation and bumps along the way are somewhat expected. So what's the first flaw that this beast has in it? The Cybertruck's unveiling was a masterclass in capturing attention. Its sharp angles and smooth stainless steel surfaces screamed innovation and a break from the traditional truck mold. However, a closer look by tech guru Marcus Brownlee revealed a potential issue lurking beneath that shiny exterior, uneven panel gaps. Brownlee explains the culprit behind this, which is stainless steel's inherent spring back effect. Imagine trying to bend a thick metal ruler perfectly in half. The moment you realize your pressure, it springs back slightly. This natural characteristic of the steel makes it challenging to achieve uniform gaps between the Cybertruck's body panels during manufacturing. The result? Some Cybertrucks might roll off the assembly line with notable inconsistencies, a far cry from the seamless look Tesla initially promised. These inconsistencies raise a few questions. Will the uneven gaps be purely aesthetic, or could they impact things like water resistance or wind noise? Tesla prides itself on pushing boundaries, but will this particular design choice translate into real-world functionality for Cybertruck owners? Only time and more miles on the road will tell. The Cybertruck's minimalist design boasts a handleless entry system. While undeniably cool and futuristic, this choice might introduce a new kind of headache for owners, which is picking up fingerprints easier. Stainless steel, despite its strength and durability, has a major weakness. It's a fingerprint magnet. Anytime you touch the Cybertruck's body panels to open the doors, climb in, or simply lean against it, you're leaving behind a greasy smudge. Imagine a vehicle perpetually covered in handprints. Not exactly the sleek, futuristic image Tesla was likely aiming for. This raises concerns about maintenance. Keeping a traditional car clean can be a chore, but the Cybertruck might take it to a whole new level. Will frequent polishing become a necessary part of Cybertruck ownership? What kind of cleaning products will be safe and effective on that stainless steel surface? Tesla might need to provide some solutions for fingerprint-obsessed Cybertruck owners who want their ride to look as sharp as it drives. The handleless design also introduces a potential usability concern. Without a clear entry point, how difficult will it be for passengers, especially for those who don't know where to push to open the doors? While the initial wow factor might be high, Tesla will need to ensure that the handleless design doesn't come at the expense of user friendliness. While the Cybertruck has an undeniable wow factor, financial analysts like Dan Ives and Gene Muster have some concerns. They agree it has big potential, but only if Tesla ramps up production to meet all those pre-orders and lowers the price tag. Munster even suggests Tesla might lose money on each Cybertruck initially unless they seriously crank out more units. Let's go back to 2019. The Cybertruck unveiling was a spectacle filled with promises of revolutionary performance and a starting price that seemed almost too good to be true. Elon Musk himself touted a range exceeding 500 miles on a single charge and a base price tag hovering around $70,000. Fast forward to today and the Cybertrucks hitting the streets don't quite match that initial hype. The current range falls short of the impressive 500 mile promise. While the exact figures vary depending on the model, they land noticeably lower. This has left some wondering if Tesla can achieve that ambitious range in the future or if it was simply a marketing tactic. 
tech guru Marcus Brownlee even chimed in on social media, expressing skepticism about Tesla delivering on similar range promises for upcoming models. His main concern? The sheer weight of batteries needed to achieve those lofty figures. Packing in enough batteries to hit 500 miles could significantly impact the Cybertruck's performance and handling, raising questions about practicality. The price tag also took a detour from the initial announcement. While the starting price isn't exorbitant compared to other electric trucks, it's definitely higher than the $70,000 figure many were anticipating. This has led to some grumbling amongst potential buyers who might have faced their purchasing decisions on this early pronouncement. Tesla has yet to officially address the discrepancy, leaving some to wonder if future price adjustments might be on the horizon. So, what should they do? Should Tesla address these concerns, or is the Cybertruck revolutionary enough to stand on its own? Let us know your thoughts in the comments down below. We want to hear from you. And hey, if you enjoyed the ride, don't forget to like and subscribe. We'll see you in the next video.